Where have we been? Are we okay? Have we stopped flogging? All this and more, coming up. Firstly, I'd like to say a really big thank you to all those people who have asked such questions uh, in the last couple of months. Uh, and yes, I'm sorry I haven't uh, been putting some vlogs out. Um, as you can see, we are very well indeed. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, well, we're better than okay, really, aren't we? So, yes. yeah, absolutely. Um, although we did catch COVID in Oxford in July. In July, yeah. So, uh, which wasn't a particularly pleasant experience, but it was the first time we've got it, or had it, even. <laughs> now, I must admit, I have been giving some pretty serious thoughts to Tales from the Swan's Neck, and whether I want to continue doing it. There are a variety of reasons for this, and uh, I think I shall go into that later on in the video. As for where we've been, well, um, I think we last left you on the River Weaver and after that we went down the Trenton Mersey, the Shropshire Union, um, well we had ended up on the Severn um, and we did a bit of filming on the Severn, which we weren't very keen on to be honest, <laughs> were we? It was only the mooring that was a problem for us. Oh, well, uh, I just found it really boring. Yeah, it's, it's, it wasn't. It's, it's very straight, and you can't really see anything because the banks are so high-sided. But um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, we didn't like that very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we, uh, oh, we went on the Worcester and Birmingham uh, Grand Union pattern locks. We did those where we made friends with some very lovely people. So big shout out to Tony and Elaine on Narrowboat Rhapsody in Blue. Elton. What? Well done. Oh, well done. What do you mean? <laughs> Just because I remembered it. <laughs> uh, after that, we headed down to the River Thames, where we spent a very enjoyable month, even though the weather wasn't particularly great. Um, and now we've headed slightly further north again, and we are on the absolutely beautiful and charming River Nen, or River Neen, depending on how far up the river you are. Apparently the, the pronunciation changes, I can't remember where, but there you go. Um, or even the pronunciation. Or even the pron pronun pronunciation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let's crack on with the vlog, yeah. Well, down to the nitty gritty. So is this the end for Tales from the Swan's Neck? As I said earlier, I've given this an awful lot of thought over the past four months. And to be honest, I've really lost my motivation for making videos. I've always put a huge amount of effort into the vlogs I make, and I've tried to make them as professional as possible. What with the research, filming and editing, it's often become a bit like a full-time job. Sometimes I have to edit four or five hours of footage down to about 20 minutes or so. And quite frankly, I don't really enjoy editing that much. I mean, editing one of my videos can take five, six or maybe even seven days solid work. It's an awful lot of work for very little financial reward. To be honest, I make about 30 quid a month from YouTube, which doesn't buy an awful lot these days. So, I've spent a lot of time recently looking for more effective ways of making a few quid here and there. 
I'm actually writing a book at the moment, which also takes an awful lot of my time. OK, it's not going to provide me with an income straight away, if ever that is, but it may well do. And I'm enjoying doing it. Another thing I've spent some time on recently is my photography. Having worked in the industry for years, it's possibly the most reliable source of income for me at the moment. So, with this in mind, I've produced a range of posters and greetings cards, which are mostly themed around the canals and nature. The posters show a variety of scenes and can be printed A4, A3 or even A2. Obviously, if you want one for your boat and you have limited wall space, then A4 could be for you. The cards are all blank inside, so can be used for any occasion. And they're all printed with a Swan's Neck Productions logo on the reverse, so would be ideal for any fan of the channel. The cards and posters are available from our website, swansneckproductions.com, and can be mailed to most countries. But, I hear you cry, tell us if you're continuing to make videos. Well, yes I will be, but they will take on a slightly and more varied format than usual. I'm going to be steering away, or helming away, from the cruising videos. God, there are just so many people doing them these days. Definite overkill. And I've never been one for doing the sensationalism, you know, is our boat sinking? We got stuck in a lock. We had a row with a CRT locky. That just ain't me. For Val and I, the waterways are a place of beauty and tranquility. And that's what we want to get over. And I'm afraid the videos aren't going to be weekly occurrences either. But hopefully I'll be able to manage one or perhaps two a month. They'll be about things like a uh, narrowboat lifestyle and escaping the rat race being immersed in nature, maybe a few chill out videos, and the occasional rough guide to a canal or river. I'll also try to upload the unfinished videos I have of the weaver, because that was quite special to be honest. So a couple more cruising videos to come then, but in future there'll be more of this, and this, and this. And sure, we may well lose a few viewers doing this. And if you don't feel like these are the types of videos you're looking for, then OK, thanks. We appreciate the following you've given us until now. If you have any thoughts on what you'd like to see from Tales from the Swan's Neck, feel free to make suggestions in the comments. I think that'll do for now. Hopefully, we'll see you next time.